Hi again, YouTubers. This is Laura, and I just want to apologize because I know it's been a few days since I've made a video. Um, and I know some of my videos were kind of um, nothing too positive, so I do want to apologize for that. And I hope you can understand me okay. Um, you might notice now that I am able to wear my denture. Um, I do have my top denture in. Um, I am still having problems with my lower denture. Well, I'll explain here in a minute. But um, I just wanted to apologize if you have a hard time understanding me. Um, I'm getting used to normal, trying to get talked to it, but it's still a little bit difficult. And I think most people can probably understand me, but I feel like I talk really funny. So, um, again, I apologize if there's anything that you can't understand, but hopefully you can understand me okay. Um, and the last time I updated was, um, on my second and third day of having dentures. And in that update, um, my gums had been swelling up. And I know there was a few people that didn't believe that, that was possible because um, if you haven't been watching my videos or if you have, you know that I've had my teeth pulled for two years and I'm just not getting dentures. So a lot of people, including myself, thought that I wouldn't have any swelling. Um, but I did have swelling. Um, it probably wasn't any major swelling, but... Um, from a few people that I've talked to have mentioned that, you know, since my gums haven't been used to having anything in them for so long, it was probably like a, a shock to them to have something on there for so long. And like the first day that I got these, I wore them for my tops and bottoms for about 11 hours and I took them out that night. And, you know, I wasn't told to leave them in for a certain amount of time because I didn't have a medium, so I hadn't just had extractions or anything like that. So I assumed it was okay to take them out at night. I was going to clean them and stuff. And then, um, basically, to make a long story short, I just wasn't able to get them in after that for the next few days. Um, I did. I guess I did wear my top denture for the second day, but the bottom one I could not get in. And um, past that point on Sunday, today is Wednesday, um, the 13th. And on Sunday evening, I tried um, to get my dentures in again. Um, and the top one I finally was able to get in. Um, I took some tips that I got from um, a couple people on the Dentures and You Smile website. Um, I talked to Coley, um, Coley Reinvented. Um, I'm, I'm sure most of you here on YouTube that watch these type of videos know who she is because she's done a whole bunch of them. And then I also talked to Carl, a guy on the uh, Dentures the New Smile website, and they both thought maybe, you know, I could try taking like a in anti-inflammatory medicine, something like Advil or something like that, and then, um, you know, either sucking on ice, putting ice packs on my, you know, up to my face, etc. So I did try that, and it didn't seem to work right off the bat, but uh, maybe an hour or so after that, I was, I've tried it again, and I finally was able to get my top denture in. And so, I cut that in for about the next 48 hours. I did not take it out just because I didn't want it to swell up again and do the same thing. Um, I took it out just for like a minute or two just to clean it, and then I put it right back in. But other than that, I did not take it out. Um, the bottom denture, um, I still have not been able to put it in. And, um... It's it's really weird. Um, I you know I can get like the t the sides down, but when I do that and get that down securely, then the front is sitting on top of my gum. If I try to push it forward so that it goes down over the top of my gum, then the sides pop up. Or if I can get the front down, then one side will go down, the other one will stick up, and they will not go down. I mean, like I can push it, I, I can push it down as hard as possible, and it will not move, and it hurts like hell, excuse my language, but it hurts like hell trying to get it um, down on the gums, and the pain isn't just temporary, it stays when that happens, and it's, like, I have to take some, you know, some Advil or some, uh, you know, some type of ibuprofen to finally get it to go away or put ice on it for a long time, it's annoying. Um, so, I did make an appointment to go in and get uh, adjustments done on my dentures. Um, like I said, today is Wednesday, and I it's been a week since I've had them now. And so I was told to you know, try to wait a week once I got my dentures to make adjustments. So I called them on 
I called my office on Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember which day it was. And I made the appointment, and I'm going in um, Thursday, tomorrow morning. And so, um, hopefully they can get adjustments done then. Um, I won't show it because it's kind of gross, but I do have some sore spots from the short time that I was able to wear the bottoms. Um, I have a sore spot, like, right in there, and right in there, and... I don't know, but it kind of feels like there's some towards the back. I can't really see them, though. And then, um, as far as wearing my top denture, it has actually gone very smoothly. Um, it's been kind, it's, it's sore to take it off and on because I do have sore spots. Um, there again, I have them, I have like one right here and one right here in this, in those areas. And then, um, I can definitely tell now that there are sore spots um, like at the very back where my denture goes on, um, to my gums at the very back on the outside, there are sore spots on both sides of my mouth. Um, so it is uncomfortable to take the denture, put it in and take it out, but it's just that short pain. Um, if some of you know, if I already have dentures and have had that before you've got adjustments and don't know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't have dentures yet, it's not a horrible pain. It's just um, painful for just a few minutes and then it goes away. So it's definitely bearable. It's not anything that, you know, it's, it's really horrible to go through. Um, and as far as being able to wear my top denture for the past few days and how I've been dealing with that, um, I basically started out eating pretty, like, really soft foods I didn't have to chew at all. Um, I had some soup, I had mashed potatoes, um, I had some corned beef hash that you can get, like, in those cans. Stuff like that I could basically just kind of swallow <laughs> and didn't require much chewing at all. Um, but the past day or two, um, I've actually tried to eat some food. And so, today's Wednesday. On Tuesday, um, I decided to make some pasta, and I made some um, pasta with some Alfredo sauce, and I thought, well, maybe maybe I'll try to throw some chicken in there. And so, I knew I didn't want to try to have anything that had to really chew up. Um, so, I just cut the chicken in real small pieces and fried that up real quick, and then I added it to the pasta and it was a little sore eating it and it was kind of hard um you know I know my instructions that I had said that you should try eating on both sides of your mouth at the same time so it doesn't um dislodge your denture or, or it's rocking back and forth and so that's a little hard to do once you know before you're if you're not used to that and um, so that took a little bit, but, you know, once I kind of got into the, into the hang of being able to eat on both sides, um, it was actually pretty simple to eat, um, that food. And the only problem with that was that, um, I hadn't used any adhesive or anything like that. I've just been putting the denture in by itself. And, cause it stays perfectly fine. But when I did eat and I'm chewing something, it kind of moves just, just a tad bit. You know, like, not enough to come loose or anything, but just moves around a little bit. And so with the sore spots, that is painful. Um, but, you know, I just dealt with it and it went away. Um, you know, after I got done eating, it felt a little better. So, um, today, Wednesday, um, I was with my mom this afternoon and we were shopping for a little while. And we just decided to grab some lunch and went to McDonald's and I decided to try and see if I could eat some you know, like a hamburger and french fries from there. And so I went with, like, the real small stuff. I just ordered the, like, two cheeseburgers meal, so it's just a little tiny cheeseburgers. And I was able to eat that perfectly fine. Um, it was very shocking. You know, I didn't, again, didn't have any adhesive or anything like that on. And so then I was with my family again, um, later this evening with all of my family. And we d they decided we were going to grill out steaks and stuff. And I was like, oh... Well, that sounds really good, but, you know, I have no idea whether I can eat a steak right now. That might be pushing it a tad bit. And so then I thought about it now. I'm like, you know what? I was able to eat a hamburger and french fries really perfectly fine. Not much pain at all other than it moving around just a tiny bit. And I had bought some adhesive, um, you know, the first day that I got my dentures. I just hadn't felt a need to use it yet. 
So I decided to go ahead and use it. And the adhesive that I have is the Fixident um, powder. And I've heard several people recommend that it's really good. I know Callan Jacks used it um, all the time and she really recommended it. And then I saw, you know, several other people that liked that and like the food seal as well. But I decided to go with the powder first um, just because I did hear a few people say that the food seal and the liquid ones were kind of gross in your mouth and the powder wasn't anywhere near as bad. Um, so I put that in just a few minutes before I ate. And boom, 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 boom. sorry, I was trying to do a drum roll there and that didn't work very well. Um, I ate a steak today and that was really simple and it was so delicious. Um, and if you are just getting dentures or are getting ready to, um, you know, I can't give a lot of recommendations as far as adhesives to use because this was my first time using an adhesive, but it worked out standingly. Um, now I put my denture back in, it was painful just to put it in, but as soon as it was in, it was starting in and I was like, okay, well maybe I can eat this meat. And so I cut it up in normal small pieces like I did before I had teeth and how I ate it then. Um, but I, I was, I was amazed at how well the product worked. I mean, it stayed in my mouth. It did not move, nothing. Like, it was secure. It was, like, as close to having my natural teeth as it possibly could have been. So, that was pretty neat. Um, you know, only being a week away from getting my dentures and it being, like, the fourth day or so that I've actually been able to wear the top denture, um, I was able to eat steak and that was pretty amazing. So, um, that's just a little feedback for me as far as an adhesive that, um, so far anyway has worked extremely well. And I would think if it works with eating steak, that it would work well with eating a lot of food. Um, so this video is getting long. I'm sorry. I have a tendency to make really long videos, but um, that's just an update of what's been going on with me for the past few days. Um, like I said, I do have an appointment to get some adjustments made tomorrow morning. And I will try to update you guys um, in the next day or two after I've gotten back from the doctor and let you know how that go has gone. Um, but other than that, I don't have a lot to share with you right now. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!